Hi everybody, it's Shirley and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So today is a long awaited video. We are going to officially close out our wedding budget. Now, if you have been on the journey with me, you know that I have been planning a wedding for the past year or almost two years and we just got married in October. So a little over two and a half months. Now I have been asked multiple times to do a wedding budget how much did we actually spend what is our final number number because i originally did almost thirty thousand dollars of a wedding budget and i knew exactly that i would did not want to have that much money because that literally could be like towards debt and everything so i wanted to cut that in half and hopefully fingers crossed that we did and before we get started, make sure you go and subscribe down below because 2022 is upon us. I am filming this on New Year's Eve and this will be posted on New Year's Day. So happy New Year's, happy 2022. I am so happy to be continuing YouTube and providing you with content and making some incredible friends in 2022. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So first off, we did beauty category. So one of my friends in school did my hair and my makeup and she was incredible. Absolutely love it. And I budgeted $200. It was only $50. And then for makeup, it was $60. And then also I did do a $40 tip. So that was $150 total. So that is actually not bad whatsoever, you guys. All right, so for my gown, my gown was roughly about $600. I think it was like $600 and probably like $1 or something like that. So it was $600 plus one of my friends from work. His wife is an incredible, incredible um person who does alterations and I only needed I think a hem yeah I only did a hem and that was literally $60 so my dress in all cost $660 so that was awesome so under under the dress essentials pretty much the only thing I needed was something blue and I did get a blue garter and that was only $10 so I have to see, yep, it's right here. So that was only $10. And then moving on up, um, under the dress essentials, I really just, I really didn't need anything. So we didn't spend anything in that. And then I did buy myself a necklace and some earrings. So that was only, I have to see how much that was because I could not remember and I have everything written down but there it is it was only $17 and I literally got it off of Amazon if you want some of the links down below then I would definitely do it like where I got my garter pretty much I got everything off of Amazon <laughs> all right so next up is preservation I have not preserved my dress yet Food, food was a big thing and I actually, instead of doing a sit down, we decided to do just a taco bar, which was way cheaper and also everybody loved it. I literally had two chips and that's about it. I should have ate more, but everybody was raving about, about the food and I am just super glad about that. So that was $3,920 and that does include tip as well. Ceremony venue was $500. DJ, we only played paid $1,200 and that was for um, ceremony and for reception. Moving on to party favors. The only thing that I did for party favors is a candy table. So I had to get the canisters, which I found on sale at Michael's for between $7 and $15. So I got multiple of that. And then also I did go to Sam's and Costco and I just bought a bunch of candy, which was roughly for Everything was a hundred dollars, which was great, you guys. Now, with florists for the reception and any of the centerpieces, and that is going to include like decorations and everything literally a hundred and thirty seven dollars, you guys. So, I bought lanterns whenever the lanterns were on sale at Kirkland's for like stupid cheap, like eight dollars or so. It was crazy. And then the garland had like two 12 foot garlands off of Amazon's, 
which were probably about six dollars seven dollars because i kept on watching the price drop and drop until it probably could not drop any lower and that is when i snagged it and then that's about it and then i bought some fl fake flowers off of amazon which has like a box of i think 50 or so for like six dollars which was crazy so i stocked up on that and roughly the centerpieces for the centerpiece for the lanterns and the garlands and like the little tea lights that i got was 137 dollars now for invitations we did spend 200 dollars Thank you cards was $15 and I didn't even use that guys. I did not even use thank you cards. Stamps. Um, Jared's stepmom did buy us some stamps, which was, I think around almost a hundred dollars. And then Jared had to pick up some more, which was only about $40. We only needed a little bit more stamps. All right. So my ring was $800, which here is my ring with the band. It is a rose gold Neil Lane ring and I absolutely love it. And then his ring was $329. We did not do a photo booth. I literally had a photographer and then I made everybody do like Snapchat filters, videos, and all that stuff. So it was super great. Let's see. For reception area, we did pay $200. So it was $200 for like the area where the cake, the party favor, and the bar, bar was. And then also $1,000 for where everybody was going to sit. And then nothing extra for the reception. Dressing room was $1,000 for us to get ready in all day. And then the rehearsal. Rehearsal, I was estimating $1,500, but there was so much stuff that went on with this venue that was so annoying. It was so annoying. They planned a golf tournament, which they told me like the day before rehearsal that, oh, well, well there's a golf a golf tournament that we were doing so I was like no you told us it's in writing that we had the area to decorate at 8 a.m that day and you're telling me that we can't decorate until literally 6 p.m that's not going to happen so she negotiated we didn't decorate until around 6 p.m but then she did let us have a rehearsal dinner there free of charge not charging us to use their food or their like tables plates anything like that so that was literally free because I was not having it you guys I really was not <laughs> all right so moving on and I'm typically I'm a nice person and I let everything like flow off I don't really care you know very very chill person but when it comes to that and like messing with my money don't do that <laughs> All right, so shower and bachelorette trip. I literally bought the same dress for my bachelorette trip and also for my bridal shower. It was just in two different colors. It was like the Cinderella vintage um, off the shoulder dress and there was one in light blue and one in pink. Absolutely loved it. And that was actually only, I think it was... It was only $80, so it was $40 a piece, which was awesome. Um, honeymoon and ex any extra, we did not go on a honeymoon yet. We are planning on going to Disney for like a mini honeymoon, but then we are in the process of doing something bigger and better and saving our money and doing it that way. Kate and cutting, we actually didn't spend anything, but I'm still going to put it in here. We, or my mom, spent $440 on the cake and this is for like free traveling free setup because this is her mom not her mom this is her friend that did it for us and then she did give us a discount as well um desserts we did not do any desserts we decided to opt out on that because we did have that candy table so we decided not to do that our photographer instead of twelve hundred dollars it was a thousand dollars we haven't printed anything else yet and my sister-in-law, she has a printer that she prints out pictures, which she did for us for like a little Mr. and Mrs. setup for our wedding. And those pictures were great. So I'm probably just going to ask her if I buy some paper, can I just print it off at her house? <laughs> All right. So table and chair removal was $327. Cleaning fee was $163.50. The best trip welcome was like tote bags. And then we got some Mickey ears, some hand sanitizers, um, stuff like that, which was super fun. And then some fanny packs, which all of this stuff was Amazon, but there was a lot of people who did pitch in, gave me money and all that stuff. So basically what I spent on it 
was $58 for it. And I did budget $500, which is crazy. But I really came out with $58. Bridesmaids proposal boxes were only $62. So for the hotel room, we only paid $100. We did go and booked into a nicer hotel um, near the town next to us. And one of my, two of my bridesmaids decided that they would help pay for it. So we all split it and then we ended up, I, Jared only ended up paying a hundred dollars. So that was great. And that was actually for two nights as well. Okay. So we are going to update on the adult drinks. So, which was kind of funny. So we only wanted $500. Yeah. $500 for any alcohol or anything like that and literally um my best friend one of the maid of honors did it so she paid five hundred dollars for that which was great so estimate was six hundred and fifty dollars and that was literally for like tea and water and to like use their drinks and all that stuff and plus bartenders was fifty dollars a person and we needed three for the amount of guests that we had so we only paid $650 and then my best friend paid the bar tab, which was only $500, like $518. All right. So moving on to flowers. So flowers for myself, I literally made all my flowers. Well, his stepmom did. He made, she made all the flowers, all the bridesmaids hoops that had the flowers and then all the groomsmen's um, boutonnieres. So, my flowers were only $30, and I literally got all the flowers off of either Amazon, and then whenever Michaels had their end of the year, like, sale on the flowers that was, like, either 50% off, 70% off, Hobby Lobby had, had them for 50% off, I was literally stocking up on that, you guys. So, the groomsmen's was also $30 for theirs, and then the bridesmaids, which was a little bit more, but I literally had eight bridesmaids you guys so that is great for $85 moving on to flower girl so the flower girl was literally free because my one of my friends gave me the basket and then his sister which is his niece um she literally went to the fresh market and got the flowers herself that day of so we didn't need anything like that and then additionals we didn't need that all right, ceremony decorations was $17, literally, you guys, $17. I was gifted so many tablecloths, runners, um, vases. I had leftover flowers. His mom bought some, like, tea lights. Um, his mom bought, like, string lights to wrap around the vases. It was awesome. And then we used water, which water was free. We put food color in there to make it look like, um like the C. So that was free because it was already in my pantry. Literally guys, I only paid $17. Like that is crazy. All right. So moving on to gifts. So bridesmaids gifts was $140 and that was a lot of like hangers, cups, robes, all that stuff. So that equals to $140 and that all came from Amazon as well. Grimson, we did the flask so that was $195. Parents, we got handkerchiefs and handkerchiefs for, I think, all the parents. And then we did jewelry for the moms. So that was $55. And those were all on Amazon's, you guys. The kids, I literally only got $10. I think I got a necklace and some earrings for the flower girl. Husband, we didn't opt out to not get each other anything. I mean, I got him some alcohol, but I really don't think that counts. And then pre-pampering, I got my nails done. $5 because I was in school, cannot have fake nails. So we just did press-ons. And then tips, Jared did five, $150. So we just did $50 for the, um, the DJ, the photographer, and somebody else because everything else was already included. Like the bartenders already had their tip and their gratuity with the food and beverages. So that was already in there. And like the cleaning fee and everything for like everybody to like clean up. That was already included. So that was great for us. And I think that's it, you guys. So we are actually going to add up everything and see how much we are 
at. So hopefully it is $1,500. If it's like less than $1,500, that would be great as well, you guys. So I'm just going to flip it all the way back and I actually need to find my calculator. All right, so we are going to start with hair and makeup, which was $150. Gown and alterations was $160. The groom suit was $189. The shoes were $50. My accessories was $17. Something blue was $10. Food was $3,920. Ceremony was $500. Um, DJ was $1,200. Party favors was $100. Reception centerpieces was $137. Invites was 200. Thank you cards were 15. Stamps 40. Ring was 800. And Jared's ring was 329. Reception ever was $2,000. We're already at $10,000, you guys. Chairs was 172. Dressing room was 1,000. Let's see. Bash trip was 80. Let's see, cake was 440. Photographer was 1000. Removal of chairs was 327. Um, let's see, cleaning fee was 163 and 50 cents. Bash trip was $58. Bridal proposal was 62. Hotel was 100. Save the dates were eight dollars. Oh, guys, we're at we're gonna totally be over, but you guys, that is fine. I'm fine with it. Okay, so adult drinks were six hundred and fifty dollars. Bridesmaid flowers and groomsmen flowers were thirty dollars a piece, so that was sixty. Let's see, bridesmaids were eighty five. Ceremony was 17 for decorations and draping was 272.50. Gifts were, let's see, 140 plus 195 plus 55 plus 10 plus 5 and plus 150 equals 2. $15,767, which was, it's awesome, you guys. I just went over $767 over budget, but I did include the $440 from what my mom bought the cake, so that is fine. So if we take the cake out, it was actually only... $15,027. So that is, I'm going to use the $15,327. That is in, not including the cake that my mom did pay for. So we're just going to subtract $29,371 is how much I estimated. Subtract $15,327 will equal to $14,044 is how much we actually saved you guys. So that was my wedding budget. I am extremely blessed that I have the love and support from my family, from my friends, from people, from work and everything. They literally helped me with this wedding because I got a ton of free stuff, like a ton of decorations and everything that I would have had to pay out of pocket, which would have probably got us up to $30,000 or way past it, to be honest. But I am super excited about this wedding budget. Um, $15,327 is really not bad. It does seem a lot. Honestly, it really does. A lot of people would say you should have just like eloped. You should have had like 60 people, but no, we invited 140 people, you guys, 140 people for $15,327. Like I, I think we did good and I'm proud of myself. But I'm not having another wedding. <laughs> Maybe our five-year renewal. My best friend is getting married in June. And I have gifted her a ton of decorations, you guys. And 
my advice and also she's using a lot of my people that I've used. She's using my hair and makeup lady. She's using my DJ. She is using my Decker, Decker, I don't know, maybe the dance floor and like the draping and stuff. I'm not sure, but I'm super excited for her. But anyways, you guys, so that is it. That is my wedding budget. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. It is long awaited. I know. Um, thank you again for everything that you have done. Welcome to 2022. And I'm super excited to be coming at you next year with some new videos. And I hope y'all come back and join me. But anyways, I hope y'all have a great rest of the last years as I'm filming this. Probably like four hours before 2022 starts but anyways i will see you guys in the near future bye